Hello everyone, this is Junior Fan, and today I'm out here to make yet another commentary. This time it's on Shadow the Ultimate 777, aka Foxtrot Delta Lima 297. Now, he did a commentary on the Irate Gamer, and before I begin to actually start this commentary, I'm not going to go ahead and make the same accusations that a couple other commentators claim, saying, Oh, he's beating a dead horse, he's old news, yada yada yada, all that happy horse shit. Because for one thing, DLA Abouku, aka the guy who does the I Can't Believe It's Not AVGN series, actually does text commentaries on the iRate Gamer, and besides, me and T4 actually went ahead and did a commentary on the iRate Gamer's Kirby's Epic Yarn Review. I'd say about a year, year and a half ago, somewhere along that line. But no, this commentary has enough problems as it is. And for a guy who started out being basically a mediocre commentator, he basically downgraded himself a lot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this shit started. So I'm guessing this is what Dirty Harry's actual dying victims see before they kill over after getting pelted by a 44 Magnum pistol, correct? This dark void with red and orange text, which you could barely see the fucking text. And really, overly cliche, Season 1, Episode 10, really? I didn't realize I'm watching a commentary that's equivalent to Jersey Shore, The Bachelorette, when it comes to quality. Ugh. Hey everyone and welcome to Shadow Commentaries. This is Season 1, Episode 10. In today's episode, I am going to be critically analyzing the Irate Gamers review of Silver Surfer. Now, keep this as a mental note here, folks, that he's going to quote-unquote critically analyze the Irate Gamers review of Silver Surfer. Yeah, Karma is going to go ahead and bite him in the ass here later in this commentary. Which was requested over Facebook. And I can tell you, this review is really bad. Eh, I've probably seen much worse. Hi out there, thank you for joining us. Today on the Field Game Show, we're going to be reviewing the Batman game. And we'll see you there after this intro. Oh, good God, no! No! Do not show that clip again! It'll haunt my fucking dreams! So, let's dive right in, grab the scalpel, and cut this video right open. Let I didn't know it was a fucking begin. biology class. Yeah, I'm going to skip the first minute and 21 seconds of this Welcome because this does not contribute IG anything to the video whatsoever. Yeah, I could say the same thing for your pointless commentary there too, buddy. Alright gamers, today we're going to be checking out Silver for the NES. Now, now, I know this game has been reviewed before, but my intent is to make it all the way to the end. Now, if anybody out there has a problem with that, I suggest you just click over to another channel. That would be a pretty smart idea if you're gonna say something like that. Right back at you, buddy. Hmm, let me see what else is on besides this pointless and really shitty commentary. Do you think they will ever find <laughs> Oh man, it's that commercial! I thought at first it was fake, and I thought it was also a Saturday Night Live skit. Oh man, this commercial is so poorly implemented and so poorly edited, man. Damn, it's so cheap. Folks, just don't get it. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Turn that back! Aww, that actually looks way more entertaining than this. Oh, you sound like a whiny little Australian cunt with forced acting that sounds unnatural. Whew, alright, that's better. Alright, well the game starts off by Galactus telling Silver Surfer that he needs his help defending the universe from a huge threat. And once arriving at the startup screen, we get to choose from five different areas. You know, this stage selection screen kind of reminds me of Mega Man. You've got your Water World, Space World, and Ghost World? Wait a minute, this is exactly like Mega Man! You Mega Man ripoff! Oh, that is so fucking funny. Aha! 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 So wait, you could not refute the irate gamer's point 
in claiming that Silver Surfer is an exact ripoff of Mega Man, even though he was trying to be comical when it comes to the select screen for both games. You could not refute the point by showing at least both the gameplay footage of Mega Man and Silver Surfer and claiming them that they're not the exact same game. You couldn't explain that one is basically a side-scrolling, shoot-em-up, platforming action game while the other one's basically a vertical and horizontal shooter. You could not explain that in Silver Surfer, after you defeat a boss, that you don't gain the boss's ability. You could not refute the same goddamn points. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to face palm and face desk at your lack of effort there, son. What the hell am I saying? This commentary has no fucking effort. Alright, well if we're gonna have to pick one, let's just go ahead and pick this Bret Hart stage. So in this side-scrolling adventure, you're mi- Uh, let's try this again. So in this side-scrolling adventure, your mission is to reach the end and- Gosh damn it! <sighs> now in this side-scrolling adventure, you're mi- <sighs> I really would have to wonder if you're actually trying to play the game. And thanks for just pointing out what everybody has been talking about in their irate gamer commentary since 2008 or 2009, Captain Obvious. And for the record, I am wondering if you're actually trying to slow down your speech speed to go ahead and sound like a douchebag that wants to get hit in the privates. And the game is over? No save feature? One hit and you're dead? <laughs> that was kind of funny. What do you mean funny? Funny how? How am I funny? From the very first set second, these stages will be out to kill you in every way possible. Now some games require a bit of memorization just to pass through them, but this game pretty much grabs your spine and pulls it right out your asshole. Now just how the hell am I supposed to get past this? Good god, was there anything harder than this game? Couldn't they have at least given us a health meter? Power mushrooms? Something? This isn't Mario. Hey, who wants to go ahead and do a nice little drinking game with me? I have my beverage of choice, and mine is a cold, hard monster. Any time that Shelly Ultimate goes ahead and points out the obvious, or his sarcasm fails to actually humor me, or you, then go ahead and take a drink. And, for the record, the irate gamer mentions the power-ups after you made your pointless autoduct argument towards what he said. A bitch! Now thankfully this game has a lot of checkpoints throughout the level, but good fucking luck reaching them. When trying to deal with shit like this, where the game gives you the space as big as your ass crack to pass through. Ugh. God, this game sucks, it blows, and it's a piece of shit! Good timing on calling it a piece of shit, and also... Didn't that sound kind of like something the Angry Video Game Nerd would say? No, I don't know what phrase the Angry Video Game Nerd would have said in his Silver Surfer review compared to Chris Bohr's Silver Surfer review. No, I don't know what your point is in this whole entire friggin' argument. Your editing skills in this commentary are so lazy, you make a woman who depends on welfare and her older children to support her, you make her look like she ran a 20-hour marathon. Your points in this commentary are about as broad as, say, a Tasmanian devil in an inaudible state, babbling and slobbering in a grotesque and Neanderthal manner. Your points in this commentary are absolutely vague and fucking weak. Okay, well, maybe we can just pause the game and chart a path to victory. Well, we'll navigate around this bullet, around this, around that, and head this way to free ourselves for the next line of attack. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Oh, hardy ha ha. I almost pissed myself laughing. <sighs> Take a drink. Well, time to break out the NES Advantage. This oversized controller thankfully has turbo buttons and a slow button. That will help slow things down like, a bit. That's gonna help. Take a drink! God damn it. Now, this might sound like a good idea on paper, 
and probably would get a little bit further than you would normally. But good luck from here on out, because the only thing you'll be doing is watching your ass getting kicked in slow motion. That's not funny, and by the way, he slowed down the gameplay footage with his video editing software, people. Take a drink! And I guess you don't realize that the irate gamer is playing with the NES Advantage, which means if you try to speed up the control scheme of the character, that it slows down the game, right? Because the NES could do so much for what it's capable of doing. And also, for the record, quit being so goddamn repetitive when it comes to your point saying, Oh, it's not funny. We get it. You don't like the irate gamer and his humor. My god, this feels like deja vu, deja vu, deja vu, deja vu, deja vu. vu. Alright, shut the hell up for Christ's sakes! And if you think the controls in this game are any better, yes again. Because once you start finding power-ups to add to your arsenal, it becomes another complicated mess just to use them. Now the A button will fire your standard weapon. I got 22 seconds before I get to see another irrelevant Foxtrot moment. Let me go ahead and say this to fill in the space that Foxtrot could have said something or could have put a media clip or something. Hi, Mom! Who the hell designed this shit? Pablo Picasso? Why, yes. Fuck off! You know nothing of my book! That was for the irate gamer? Really? I'm kinda shocked because I thought that was for you, Foxtrot, because that's how they feel about your commentary so far. Ah, but what the hell does it even matter anyway? So you probably won't be alive long enough to even use it. Gosh damn it, I wanna see the rest of this game! Don't you? I would too. If only you could actually play it. Take a drink! Repetition, thy name is title card 777. Well, I hate to do, to do this, but time to break out the game, Genie. Oh! Knowing he's going to go ahead and actually make a huge tirade about the irate gamer using the game Genie like he normally does in his game reviews, we're gonna go ahead and actually skip this shit because I don't want to hear him whine like a friggin' eight-year-old. All right, Genie, come out of there! <laughs> You've released the almighty game, Genie. Oh, using an actual Genie? Oh, what genius! Not. <sighs> Take a drink. <sighs> I sound like I'm orgasming in my mouth, and also. You, my fine friend, fail at the Wayne's World joke. Hey, you look a little different from last time. Well, being locked away in that thing for a while will do that to you. Plus, if Doctor Who can do it, I can do it too. Alrighty, so, how may I serve you? Oh, great. Well, I need him for Oh, yeah, life. by the way, has anyone well, noticed that Chris seems that. to play every character in his videos? No. I do not want to take another sip of that monster, even though it tastes good. I think I've had enough monster for right now, because I'm going to be bouncing off the walls the next night. I do not want another sip of that monster. Oh, God, no. No. All right, I'll do it. I promise to Ben, I promise to keep my end of the bargain. God. And also, I didn't realize that that was the irate gamer. I thought that was the irate gamer's evil twin brother who basically shaved off his mustache and his goatee so he can go ahead and steal Chris's identity for his YouTube partnership. Ugh, God damn it, Shadow the Ultimate. Give me a fucking break! Oh, you can tell that I'm getting tired of watching this commentary. Uh, not me, jackass. The game. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, now we're talking untouchable. Now each level in this game is split up into three sections. Two full-size levels and a third that contains the stage boss. 
The bad news here is that it takes a billion shots just to kill him. And the good news? Well, there's no good news. This is a Silver Surfer game, too. No. This is a game where- You know, instead of you groaning like a little kid who ate too much goddamn ice cream on his birthday, or whatever the case may be, you could have refuted Chris's points once again when it comes to the boss battles, claiming that the power-ups, if you have the actual power-ups that'll make the battle quicker, I mean, it's common sense, jackass. Where you can still lose even after beating the staged boss. Oh, you flip my shit. You know, that picture of Silver Surfer moping expresses just how I feel about this review. What emotion? You barely emoted through this commentary. In fact, that title card as your avatar definitely expresses your persona in this commentary. It's inanimate and unlively. So, in other words, the Silver Surfer moping in the background should be how the audience feels after watching the beginning of your really poor excuse of an embarrassment that is known as well a commentary. So after you successfully defeat a stage boss, we get a device piece, and the Silver Surfer celebrates. Well, don't party too hard there. Santa Montana is funnier than this. Yeah, and the irate gamer is funnier than you because he actually puts a lot more effort into his comedy style. So again, what is your point there, schmuck? Silverman. We got four more of these stupid, hard-as-shit levels to beat. <sighs> and even with a Game Genie helping you, you'll be subjected to a countless barrage of death after death after death after death after death before finally reaching all these stage bosses. Ha <laughs> ha, you can't beat Silver Surfer even when using Game Genie. Na 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 na. You know, Foxtrot, knowing that you about broke my tolerance for you in this commentary, and knowing that you pretty much exposed your eight-year-old self through that joke, and you sounded more like an annoying pissant than anything else, we're gonna fast forward the shit! And that is the end. Well, all in all, this was a rubbish review. He didn't really go into much detail in this, because most of it was just whinging about how difficult it was, and he went into absolutely no detail about the story, characters, design, etc. Remember what he said about critically analyzing the irate gamer's review of Silver Surfer? Critically analyzing the irate gamer's review of Silver Surfer. This definitely proves his contradictory, because he said that the irate gamer's review wasn't detailed enough, or did not have enough details, while his actual commentary, of course, didn't have that much detail either. So again, to shadow the ultimate, unless you actually do your part, I would just shut your fucking mouth before I actually state another claim. If I wanted a proper Silver Surfer review, I'll stick to the Angry Video Game Nerds review. And thus we come to the conclusion of Shadow Commentary Season 1 Episode 10. If you liked it, please click subscribe and become a fan by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter at Formspring and Instagram. Yeah, I wonder what else would happen. Probably disable the ratings and comments like you usually do on your channel. Yeah, that, that'll work right there, buddy. And I'm pretty sure whoring yourself out to other people with your piss poor commentaries is definitely the way to go. So, in conclusion, there's really nothing to say about this commentary that's already been said. This commentary is an abysmal pile of shit that is basically an embarrassment to fucking society. And I don't want any of y'all to actually deal with the pain that I had to deal with dissecting and decomposing this pile of crap. As for the irate gamers review of Silver Surfer, I will say that it was terrible. He could have gone into much more detail about the game and how much it sucked and how the graphics are indistinguishable between what is foreground and what is background and what can kill you and what cannot kill you and all that sort of stuff. So yes, I will say that the Irate Gamers review in comparison to the AVGN or Aqualung's reviews and walkthroughs of Silver Surfer doesn't even hold a friggin' candle to their reviews. Hey everyone and welcome to Shadow Commentary. This is Season 1, Episode 10. 
In today's episode, I am going to be critically analysing the Irate Gamers review of Silver Surfer, which was requested over Facebook. What? I have to listen to a commentary on the Irate Gamer? Dang! Well, maybe this might not be all that bad. Hopefully he's not going to nitpick at every single joke that the Irate Gamer is going to throw. Oh god, he better not. And I can tell you, this review is really bad. So, let's dive right in, grab the scalpel, and cut this video right open. Let the commentary begin. Yeah, I'm going to skip the first minute and 21 seconds of this because this does not contribute anything to the video whatsoever. What? A reviewer trying to be funny and trying to entertain his listeners? The fuck is that? Alright gamers, today we're going to be checking out Silver for the NES. Now, now I know this game Note, those audio stutters were not the work of my video, those are the work of Shadow's crappy video editor. The problem with that, I suggest you just click over to another channel. That would be a pretty smart idea if you're gonna say something like that. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Turn that back! Aww, that actually looks way more entertaining than this. You know, Shadow really hasn't made a point at all of why Irate Gamer's review has been bad yet. All he's just been doing is about how whining about how bad he is without providing any reason why. Is this what the whole video is going to be like? Yeah, probably. Whew, alright, that's better. Alright, well the game starts off by Galactus telling Silver Surfer that he needs his help defending the universe from a huge threat. And once arriving at the startup screen, we get to choose from five different areas. You know, this stage selection screen kind of reminds me of Mega Man. You've got your Water World, Space World, and Ghost World? Wait a minute, this is exactly like Mega Man! You Mega Man ripoff! Oh, that is so fucking funny. Aha! 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 So like, hey guys, I don't like this one joke because I don't think it's funny, so then I'm going to try to be funny on making fun of it, although it's not going to be funny, it's just going to be pathetic. Am I cool yet? Alright, well if we're going to have to pick one, let's just go ahead and pick this Bret Hart stage. So in this side-scrolling adventure, you're mi- Uh, let's try this again. So in this side-scrolling adventure, your mission is to reach the end and- Gosh damn it! Now, in this side-scrolling adventure, you're mi I really would have to wonder if you're actually trying to play the game. Because it's not like Irate Gamer is a comedian and <gasps> he's trying to emphasize on how fucking hard the game is. And the game is over, no save feature, one hit and you're dead? Ah! <laughs> That was kind of funny. From the very first sec second, these stages will be out to kill you in every way possible. Now some games require a bit of memorization just to pass through them, but this game pretty much grabs your spine and pulls it right out your asshole. Now just how the hell am I supposed to get past this? Good god, was there anything harder than this game? Couldn't they have at least given us a health meter? Power mushrooms? Something? This isn't Mario. And this isn't a good commentary because all you've been ragging on so far are about jokes. You know, that are meant to be funny and not taken seriously? Son of a bitch! Now thankfully this game has a lot of checkpoints throughout the level, but good fucking luck reaching them. When trying to deal with shit like this, where the game gives you the space as big as your ass crack to pass through. Ugh. God, this game sucks, it blows, and it's a piece of shit! Good timing on calling it a piece of shit. And also, didn't that sound kind of like something the angry video game nerd would say? Aside from all the fanboy arguments about how the irate gamer is pretty much a ripoff from AVGN, so let me get this straight. You're saying that pretty much AVGN is the only one who can cuss out a video game on how horrible it is? That's no fun! Okay, well, maybe we can just pause the game and chart a path to victory. Well, we'll navigate around this bullet, around this, around that, and head this way to free ourselves for the next line of attack. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Oh, hardy ha ha, I almost pissed myself laughing. Okay, seriously, Shadow, you're coming off as a dick. It was a joke. It's a frickin' joke. Why are you complaining about 
jokes. My god! Well, time to break out the NES Advantage. This oversized controller thankfully has turbo buttons and a slow button. That will help slow things down what? a bit. That's gonna help. Now, this might sound like I'm sorry, like folks. His asshole rig on the way of Probably him realizing that slowing bit. down the game might actually well, help with him dealing with fast moving now, projectiles. The only thing you'll be doing is watching your ass getting kicked in slow motion. That's not funny, and by the way, he slowed down the gameplay footage with his video editing software, people. Do you want to back that up with proof, man? No? Well, okay, then it's your funeral. Because, I mean, normally, if you present something like that, you should back it up with evidence, so that way people don't say that you're just bullshitting it. Oh, and also, really, you're just going to say that's not funny again? Let me guess, you're one of those people that say that reviews and commentators shouldn't be funny, but they, they should be for constructive criticism. And if you think the controls in this game are any better, guess again. Because once you start finding power-ups to add to your arsenal, it becomes another complicated mess just to use them. Now the A button will fire your standard weapon, but the B button doesn't do diddly fuck. Oh, but the B button does do something. It allows the player to shoot backwards. Why am I bringing this up? Because the whole point of Shadow doing this review was to point out the flaws in this review. Yet the one legitimate flaw there was, he didn't point out. Wow. But you know what does fire your power-up weapon? The select button. The select button? For God's sake. You have a perfectly good button right here that does absolutely shit, and you want me to use the select button to fire? Ugh. Who the hell designed this shit? Pablo Picasso? Why, yes. Fuck off! You know nothing of my book! Haha, <laughs> 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 too quick, we, my friend. Because even though I absolutely do not like the Irate Gamer, I'd much rather watch one of his reviews than watch one of your commentaries. Because you know, the Irate Gamer tries to be entertaining. And although he's not super duper funny, at least he tries. And to some people, they do find him funny. Unlike you, all you ever do is just rag on jokes and use a still image. You have no idea how the process of an icon moves. I mean, seriously, if you're just going to use an icon, change up the pictures. Why is it just the same still image? That's boring to look at. Ah, but what the hell does it even matter anyway? So you probably won't be alive long enough to even use it. Gosh damn it, I want to see the rest of this game. Don't you? I would too. If only you could actually play it. Well, I hate to do, to do this, but... Time to break out the game, Genie. Oh, goody! Here goes the RA Gamer with his trademark. Getting out the game, Genie, to help him pass a game just because it is too difficult for him to play. You know, I really would have to wonder if you actually consider yourself a gamer. Because it's not like the Angry Video Game Nerd ever uses Game Genies, and it's totally not like that the irate gamer doesn't care about showing off the later levels so that way people get a better understanding of the game. Also, I wonder if you can consider yourself to be a commentator. You're more of a whiner, because all you've been really complaining about are the jokes. Alright, Genie, come out of there! <laughs> you've released the almighty game, Genie! Oh, using an actual Genie? Oh, what genius! Not! Yeah, like the fact that I mean, gamers trying to be creative. I don't like the game. We get it. You don't like the joke. Shut up. Hey, you look a little different from last time. Well, being locked away in that thing for a while will do that to you. Plus, if Doctor Who can do it, I can do it too. Alrighty, so how may I serve you? Oh, great. Well, I need him. Oh yeah. By the way, has anyone uh, noticed that Chris seems to play every character in his videos? And that's a bad thing because... why? Uh, not me, Jackass. The game. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, boy. Yeah, now we're talking untouchable. Now, each level in this game is split up into three sections. Two full-size levels, and a third that contains the stage boss. The bad news here is that it takes a billion shots just to kill him. And the good news? Well, there is no good news. This is a Silver Surfer game. No. So trying to be funny and entertaining isn't funny at all, but moaning like a bitch is. 
Good to know. This is a game where you can still lose even after beating the stage boss. Oh, you flip my shit. You know, that picture of Silver Surfer moping expresses just how I feel about this review. Oh, well, I could say the same thing about your commentary on this review. Because the one legitimate flaw that you could have pointed out, you didn't. And instead, the only thing you've been doing in this review is just saying how much he sucks and how he's not funny without providing really any reason why. You're just ragging on the guy because, let me guess, you prefer AVGN over him. Yeah, that's probably the case. So after you successfully defeat a stage boss, we get a device piece and the Silver Surfer celebrates. Well, don't party too hard there. Santa Montana is funnier than this. Oh, please, next time, could you breathe any harder into the microphone? I really want to hear you exhale. <sighs> And even with a Game Genie helping you, you'll be subjected to a countless barrage of death after death after death after death after death before finally reaching all these stage Ha ha, you can't beat Silver Surfer even when using Game Genie. Na 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 na. Of course, Shadow the Ultimate would resort to using a kindergarten insult that even a kindergartner wouldn't use. So thank you, Foxtrot, for showing how inept you are at making commentaries. Because to be honest, if I just really wanted to prove on how bad of a commentary you are, all I have to do is just show that clip. Just that one. Bosses. Now once you finally manage to defeat all five levels, you'll then be whisked away to the final level to battle the main villain of this game. And just who is waiting for you in this final stage, you ask? Well, it's none other than Mr. Sinister. A villain from X-Men? Oh, you gonna be- What's wrong with putting a villain from X-Men in a Silver Surfer game? Besides, X-Men and Silver Surfer are from the same company, so why is that such a big deal? Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, seriously, what in God's name is the damn point of even making this poor pathetic excuse for a game? The game is way too hard, the controls suck, and to top it off, you don't even get to fight the main villains! You probably never made it to him. Game. Oh, if you only wait just a few more seconds. Yeah, and you just end up fighting some bloated shithead. What the hell? Pixel Demon? What the hell is that? Not this again. <laughs> okay, we get it. You don't like his jokes. Stop whining what? about what? them. The we demon? get the fucking message. Oh, again? You must use the Infernal Force. Infernal Force? But I haven't even mastered it yet. You must at least try. The game was made to be impossible to defeat, so that monster will be locked away forever. And if he is released, then we will all be in grave danger. Alright, well, there goes nothing. I call upon the Infernal Force! That's it, you're doing it! Alright, let's do this! Well, an irate game and video wouldn't be complete without special effects. Jeez, this special effects make any film by Roland Emmerich look like a masterpiece. Oh, like you're one to talk with someone who has their videos have constant hiccups in it, and also the fact that you use only just your name card for your avatar, and it's the same freaking one. It's a freaking joke. Pointless means it has no point. The point of the special effects were to make a joke. So yes, it does have a point. You do not know how words work, Fox, Trot, Delta, who cares? Oh my god. Also, if you want to complain about special effects and video editing, then let's talk about yours, because if you just noticed, that whole part right there was desynced. Yeah, that was in his video, not mine. 
And that is the end. Well, all in all, this was a rubbish review. He didn't really go into much detail in this, because most of it was just whinging about how difficult it was. Yep, let's completely forget that he explained the plot in the very beginning of this video, and they explained the controls throughout the review. And he went into absolutely no detail about the story, characters, design, etc. If I wanted a proper Silver Surfer review, I'll stick to the Angry Video Game Nerds review. Knew it, I fucking knew it. The only reason he did this review is because <laughs> did it better. And thus we come to the conclusion of Shadow Commentary Season 1 Episode 10. If you liked it, please click subscribe and become a fan by liking us on Facebook and- Us? Who is this us? I only heard your naggy voice whining about the IRA Gamers jokes in this video. And following us on Twitter, at Formspring, and Instagram. Really? Now you're gonna whore yourself out too? No wonder why a lot of people in the commentary community just have no respect for you at all. But to be honest, I really can't be surprised that you would try to pine for this much attention. Oh, correction, positive attention, because we all know what you do whenever you get negative feedback. You usually delete your videos and re-upload again, so that way you can get better likes to them, or you bitch to ZM Anonymous. That is the end of this commentary, and until next time, I will see you all later. Bye bye for now, and have a very productive day. And then he ends his video a la YouTube horse style. Do you guys not see this shit? Seriously? He thinks that he needs to have all this up here? Does he think that he is this popular? Does he honestly have a fan base? Because if he does, I'm scared. And at 11 minutes and 27 seconds, we finally finish this video that is just bleeding with arrogance, pretentiousness, and just horrible commentary style in general. Shadow the Ultimate or Frog Shroud, whatever you want to be called, this commentary is just horrible. In fact, a lot of your commentaries are horrible. They're very stale, they're not funny at all, and all you ever do is just rag on the unimportant stuff and pretty much just have a tone that just makes it really unbearable to hear your voice. Not to mention, you didn't bring up any good reason why the irate gamer is bad. All you just said were that his jokes weren't funny. His jokes weren't funny. Oh, this editing is pointless. It's pretty clear that you've gotten worse over the time. You've gotten way worse. I watched one of your older commentaries. You were better back then. Granted, you were still pretty bad, but not as bad as this. Like, I feel like that you've pretty much hit rock bottom in your commentating career. But it won't surprise me if Xiao ends up churning out something that's even worse than this. Wouldn't really surprise me. <laughs>
Alright, well the game starts off by Galactus telling Silver Surfer that he needs his help defending the universe from a huge threat. And once arriving at the startup screen, we get to choose from five different areas. You know, this stage selection screen kind of reminds me of Mega Man. You've got your Water World, Space World, and Ghost World? Wait a minute, this is exactly like Mega Man! You Mega Man ripoff! Oh, that is so fucking funny. Aha! 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 Oh no! You guys hear that? Foxtrot, the king slash mayor slash emperor comedy is putting humor in its place. Well, hey, hey, don't be shy there. You started it. Now, now you gotta try to finish it. Come on, pull down the pants and show the man the who's boss. No, don't worry. I I'm watching. I'm watching. I'll be the judge. All right. Well, if we're gonna have to pick one, let's just go ahead and pick this Bret Hart stage. So in this side-scrolling adventure, you're me- Uh, let's try this again. So in this side-scrolling adventure, your mission is to reach the end and- Gosh damn it! <sighs> now in this side-scrolling adventure, you're me- <sighs> I really would have to wonder if you're actually trying to play the game. Oh no, my mentally challenged... Uh thing considering I don't consider you a friend he was trying to make a joke you know because irate gamer is a comedic reviewer amazing comedic internet reviewers being taken seriously who to thunk and the game is over no save feature one hit and you're dead ah! <laughs> that was kind of funny from the very first sec second these stages will be out to kill you in every way possible Ah, oh, poor editing. How oh, I miss you. No, them. seriously, how did he miss you? pretty much grabs your spine and pulls it right out your asshole. Now, just how the hell am I supposed to get past this? Good God, was there anything harder than this game? Couldn't they have at least given us a health meter? Power mushrooms? Something? This isn't Mario. You do Mario. know that he was just making a reference? Now, thankfully, this game has a, a lot of checkpoints joke. throughout the level. But good right? fucking luck reaching them. When trying to deal with shit like this, where the game gives you the space as big as your ass crack to pass through. Ugh. God, this game sucks, it blows, and it's a piece of shit! Good timing on calling it a piece of shit. And also, didn't that sound kind of like something the angry video game nerd would say? Because as we all know, James Rolfe coined the term, this game is a piece of shit. Let's see, fanboyism, taking satire seriously. Yep, all hope is lost. Three minutes in the video, hope is lost. Nothing can Nothing save, can this, save video this video now. now. Okay, well, maybe we can just pause the game and chart a path to victory. Well, we'll navigate around this bullet, around this, around that, and head this way to free ourselves for the next line of attack. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Oh, hardy ha! I almost pissed myself last. Yeah, that was great, but next time, could you make well, your pretentiousness not sound advantage. forced? This oversized controller thankfully has turbo buttons and a slow button that will help slow things down like, a bit. That's gonna help. Now, this might a button that slows down fast paced action so you can get a better handle on the environment? <laughs> no way, I'd never abuse that. Sound like, sound like a good idea on paper, and probably would get a little bit further than you would normally. But good luck from here on out, because the only thing you'll be doing is watching your ass getting kicked in slow motion. <laughs> That's not funny, and by the way, he slowed down the gameplay footage with his video editing software, people. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Comedian. What jokes did you make? Also, how do you know he really slowed it down with video editing software? Where's your proof? Jesus Christ, Rick Perry's smug fag British kid, you certainly inherit a lot. And if you think the controls in this game are any better, yes again. Because once you start finding power-ups to add to your arsenal, it becomes another complicated mess just to use them. Now the A button will fire your standard weapon, but the B button doesn't do diddly fuck! Uh, excuse me Foxtra, aren't you trying to point out the flaws in this guy's videos? Because you missed an obvious one. The B button does do something, it allows you to shoot backwards. Hell, AVGN even mentioned that in his review with the same game, yet that seems to be the only reason you're making this video because you're a blind fanboy of the AVGN, and yet you say nothing about him saying the B button does nothing. You moron! You idiotic, illogical, overweight, stubborn dipshit! But you know what does fire your power-up weapon? The select button! 
The slug button? For God's sake. You have a perfectly good button right here that does absolutely shit, and you want me to use the slug button to fire? Ugh. Who the hell designed this shit? Pablo Picasso? Why, yes. Fuck off! You know nothing of my book! <laughs> That's funny. That's the people who watch your commentaries in a nutshell. Minus the cricket. Ah, but what the hell does it even matter anyway? So you probably won't be alive long enough to even use it. Gosh damn it, I want to see the rest of this game! Don't you? I would too. If only you could actually play it. What shows that he can't play the game? That he dies so many times? You do know this game is rather infamous for its difficulty, right? Even AVGM pointed that the- Oh, wait, I forgot. This is irate gamer and not AVGM. Forgot about the favoritism for a second. Now back to the scheduled program. Well, I hate to do to do this, but time to break out the game, Genie. Oh, goody. Here goes the irate gamer with his trademark. Getting out the game, Genie, to help him pass a game just because it is too difficult for him to play. You know, I really would have to wonder if you actually consider yourself a gamer. Oh, I'm sorry. Doesn't AVGN use Game right, Genies in some of his reviews? Here. You fucking favoritist cunt. Ha -ha! You've released the almighty Game Genie. Oh, using an actual Genie? Oh, what genius! Not. We get it, Bill O'Reilly. Boris is the fucking devil. You can stop showing your bias now. It's pretty obvious at this point. Thing for a while, we'll do that to you. Plus, if Doctor Who can do it, I can do it too. Alrighty, so how may I serve you? Oh, great. Well, I need him. Oh yeah. By the way, has anyone noticed that Chris seems to play every character in his videos? Does it really fucking matter? It's a comedy sketch. You're not supposed to think this deeply about comedy sketches. What, do you look at Monty Python and take that seriously? Uh, not me, jackass. The game. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, boy. Yeah, now we're talking untouchable. Now, each level in this game is split up into three sections. Two full-size levels, and a third that contains the stage boss. The bad news here is that it takes a billion shots just to kill him. And the good news? Well, there's no good news. This is a Silver Surfer game, no. too. Yeah, it's great to know your water can break, but it's not necessary to record, dear sir. You flip my shit! You know, that picture of Silver Surfer moping expresses just how I feel about this review. I'd say the same thing about every video you've ever made, but we already knew that, so saying that would be redundant. Something you obviously need practice on. So after you successfully defeat a stage boss, we get a device piece, and the Silver Surfer celebrates. Well, don't party too hard there, Santa Montana is funnier than this. I'm so sure original we and creative, and shit levels to beat. <sighs> And even with a Game Genie helping you, you'll be subjected to a countless barrage of death after death after death after death after death before finally reaching all these stage bo- Ha ha, you can't beat Silver Surfer even when using Game Genie. Na 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 na. Wow. That was the gayest thing I've ever heard in my life. Out of all the videos I've made commentaries on, this had to be the gayest, most retarded, Bullshit thing I have ever heard. I mean, I made videos about Ion riding Shavik's nutsack into the sunset. I made videos about the Black Knight doing doggy style to honor his reviews. But this, dude, I don't think you should be making fun of Chris Borz's humor anymore. Your jokes are bad enough to cause sudden infant death syndrome. Bosses. Now, once you finally manage to defeat all five levels, you'll then be whisked away to the final level to battle the main villain of this game. And just who is waiting for you in this final stage, you ask? Well, it's none other than Mr. Sinister, a villain from X-Men? Ugh, you gonna be- What's wrong with putting a villain from X-Men in a Silver Surfer game? Besides, X-Men and Silver Surfer are from the same company, so why is that such a big deal? Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, seriously, what in God's name is the damn point of even making this poor pathetic excuse for a game? The game is way too hard, the controls suck, and to top it off, you don't even get to fight the main villains! You probably never made it to him. Game. Assumption! What? The ass pie's the last the resort! You end up fighting some bloated shithead! What the hell? 
Pixel demon? What the hell is that? Not this again. <laughs> a comedic reviewer making jokes? God, I hate it when that happens. It's like it's his job what? or something. What? What the hell's a pixel demon? Irate gamer. Again. You must use the infernal force. The infernal force? But I haven't even mastered it yet. You must at least try. The game was made to be impossible to defeat, so that monster will be locked away forever. And if he is released, then we'll all be in grave danger. Alright, well, there goes nothing. I call upon the Inferno Force! <laughs> That's it, you're doing it! Well, an irate gamer video wouldn't be complete without special effects. Jeez. The special effects make any film by Roland Emmerich look like a masterpiece. Says the guy who can't even use Sony Vegas properly. You swear, Steven the Master can make higher quality videos. Irate gamer, you will not stop me. Bet. See what I mean? He managed to get the original video out of sync. I swear to God, the original review was not like that. There, see? His special effects are completely pointless. I'm sorry, you're still trying to take him seriously? A proper human being would have figured it out by now. Oh, wait, that's the problem. And that is the end. Well, all in all, this was a rubbish review. He didn't really go into much detail in this, because most of it was just whinging about how difficult it was, and he went into absolutely no detail about the story, characters, design, etc. Yes, he did. He mentioned the story of the game as that Galactus sent Silver Surfer to save the galaxy. That's a story summary. And the gameplay he showed when talked about how bad the level design is causing the difficulty to rise to frustrating levels. Yeah, there's really no need to explain that when everything is right in front of our faces. For God's sakes, everything doesn't need to be lobotomized just so your ADD can catch up with it. If I wanted a proper Silver Surfer review, I'll stick to the Angry Video Game Nerds review. Of course you would, you favoritist cunt. And thus we come to the conclusion of Shadow Commentary Season 1 Episode 10. If you liked it, please click subscribe and become a fan by liking us on Facebook and following us on Twitter at Formspring and Instagram. Become a fan of us? So what, Shadow Commentaries has a brand name? You mean there's more than one person behind these videos? Come on, Basalt, it's all up to you now. That is the end of this commentary, and until next time, I will see you all later. Bye-bye for now, and have a very productive day. Well, I'm on every drug known to man, so what's left to say? The colors are pretty.